Grace and peace to you. I'm Rev. Joe Kalis, the pastor of Peakland United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. Today is Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. Do you know the word liminal? L-I-M-I-N-A-L. Liminal. It means a transitional or an in-between time or space. A hallway is a liminal space between two rooms. A liminal time is what I'm experiencing this week at Peakland. We are in between big church events. In the past two weeks, we started our fall kickoff with huge successes. With Rise Against Hunger, over 70 of us packaged over 10,000 rice and grain-based meals in about an hour and 10 minutes. Last week, I presided at Peakland Preschool's all-school chapel service here in the sanctuary. Dozens of preschoolers, all the Peakland preschoolers, gathered in the sanctuary together with their teachers. And we sang this little light of mine. We enacted the first creation story in the Bible and prayed our action prayer together. This past Sunday, Peakland After Dark had its first regular meeting of the season. We had children, youth, parents, and grandparents together, and we created homemade pizzas as a spiritual exercise by praying together and praying individually during the preparation, the eating, and the cleanup. During these big church events, it is easy to know and feel the presence of God. And we've got some big church events coming up. In October, Peakland will begin a congregational study called Being United Methodist Christians. We'll explore the United Methodist story, our beliefs, and our best practices, as well as the challenges we United Methodists face. This is going to be a great study for all of us, both lifelong United Methodists and for those of us who are newcomers to Peakland and to Being United Methodist. Next month, on October 17th, the Ruth Circle will hold its grand card party here at the church to raise funds for supporting the helping agencies here in town. We also have our annual blood drive on November 9th, and during Advent, we'll have the second annual mission fair, where we'll have half a dozen ways to contribute and support the helping agencies here in town. Those are the big spirit-filled items that lie ahead for us. But this week, not a lot of big events are happening at the church. We have our usual ministries and meetings. The Peakland staff met yesterday, and we prayed for our people and discussed church matters. The Sanctuary Choir and the Praise Choir will rehearse later today, and the Peakland Preschool Music Program kicks off this week. I am working now with lay nominations to identify our church leaders for the upcoming year. So when someone calls you and asks you to serve on a committee, I trust your answer will be, of course I'm willing and able to serve, with pride and pleasure. We are also in the middle of our Pave the Way to Grace parking lot stewardship campaign. So far, we've raised just over half the amount we need to raise. I turned in my first check and my pledge card this past Sunday. If you haven't turned yours in yet, now is the time. This is a liminal week for me at Peakland, and we are in between big church events. While it's easy to see and know God's presence in the big events, both here at the church and in our own lives, The good news for us is that God is also present in these quieter, in-between, liminal moments of life as well. God is with us when we are high on the mountaintop, when life is rewarding. God is with us in the valley of shadows when life is challenging. And God is with us in the routine, in the everyday, in the neither high nor low places in life. Today and in the days to come, look for God in the ordinary, in the -the run-of-the-mill, liminal spaces in your life. Thanks be to God.